Hello, welcome to Editing 101, and this will be the first episode of the series. Uh, these series are about editing, and it will be uh, just like school, just uh, start with some simple stuff and build it up to some more difficult ones. Uh, I'll be uploading every Wednesday and Sunday, so there is a schedule for that. And yeah, let's just start with the basics. Let's start with After Effects. Uh, so the first thing you need to do, of course, is get After Effects. I use After Effects CS6, it's the latest version, and it's the best version with all the new stuff. So once you've got that, you also need to create your own uh, work folder, kind of. I call it video photo editing, and I have all my stuff in here. Also create a folder called projects within that folder. Uh, here are all my projects, or all the After Effects uh, saves. And yeah, that's enough for now. Then start up After Effects, and this is what you will see. There will be some um, some windows over here. If, I'm not sure if this is the default view, but this is what I have. You have a project window over here, a preview window over here, uh, some text stuff over here, character, paragraph. It's all with text. Uh, the preview, uh, let's say uh, buttons. You can play and preview and all this stuff. The effects window and the timeline. So uh, these two kind of the timeline and the preview window are the most important ones and you'll use that a lot. But um, before we start go to edit preferences auto save and enable that because it's very important. If you uh, if your After Effects crashes it does give you the option to save but if it crashes from a critical error that it cannot catch if it cannot catch the exception, then uh, it will not save for you. So it's better to have an auto save on. I have it for every 12 minutes. I think that's enough. Also, go to memory multiprocessing and set the RAM reserved for After Effects to um, your maximum, if you want at least. But it's better to do it at maximum to have a good uh, a good speed of editing. My maximum is 2.5, so I'll just keep it at that. Alright, that's done. And now we can uh, start to do some basic stuff. So this is the project window. Here you can import some stuff. Let's say um, uh, this clip. You can just drag and drop. And this clip is MP4 format. If you use w, uh, WMV, so the Windows Media Video or whatever it's called, don't use that with After Effects because After Effects has a uh, some trouble with um, with uh, previewing that. It takes a lot more processing time to do to do that, and it's just better to use MP4. Here you have some information about the clip, uh, the resolution, uh, the uh, the color, and everything. But uh, that's not really important. So uh, you got this clip over here, and you can just drag it over to your timeline. And it will create a new composition when you do that. And you could just also, just let's delete this for now. Let's delete the composition. You could also drag this over here. This is the, let's just hover over. It's the create a new composition button. So if you drag it over to there, it will create a new composition with this um, clip in it. So uh, a composition basically is just a container. Uh, you can uh, add multiple layers on it. And a layer also... I guess you know what a layer does, but it's just you can put stuff on top of each other. You will not see the bottom one unless you do it like this. Uh, wait. What did I do? Oh, wait. You need to select the top layer. You see, these are two layers. You don't. You only see the top one over here, and this is the bottom one. You can uh, uncheck the visibility if you want, like this. And you can also mute the audio, but you cannot hear that. And you can also solo like this. Alright, and you can also um, lock the layer. So if you, let's see, let's lock this one. Then you cannot, you cannot move this. You cannot do anything. You see, I'm trying to move it, but I can't. So that's pretty useful if you are done with that layer, with that clip. But uh, if you push Control Z, it's just, you, then you can just redo this. Push, push, push it uh, a lot of times to get back. Go back, go back, go back. Oh, that's too much. Control Shift C is um, redo. Oh, wait, I just need to 
double click this all right I just remove this and set this to um, to the default position I'll show you guys how to do this just in a moment bear with me all right so this is your composition this is your clip uh, here you can see if you just drag this and uh, then this will also just show like that if you want to play it it will play it but not in real time because it takes some processing time to uh, to play it but uh, if you pause for now you can see here these green this green line that means that it's stored into your RAM so this it can uh, play um, in real time now I think yeah so this is stored this is not stored so let's say if you want to um, play this move you can play um, you can push this button RAM preview it will first store it on your RAM and then play it in real time so that's basically what you always will do if you want to test something if you want to preview a certain uh, a certain range and this slider over here is just the work area it's, it's your preview range so if you ram preview here again it will only preview this part and there's a hotkey for setting the boundaries let's say you want to set the left boundary over here uh, press B and the right boundary is press N so B and N also if you want to clip a layer you can always do it like this but you can also just uh, press alt left bracket and alt right bracket so like this you clip the layer and then you also have this sl slider this is to zoom in and zoom out of the timeline alright um, let's see there's also this over here this is the current time of your uh, what's this current time indicator so you'll see if you're over here then you're at four seconds and four frames that's just useful to know um, let's see you can expand the the properties of the layer over here there's transform there's audio if you put on effects then you will see that too but we will do that in the next video for now I will just um, set this back like that and let's say um, if you have a PVR then you will always have these black edges right if you want to remove that you can um, set the scale here to 101 that's enough to remove the edges but I'll just redo uh, undo that and alright let's just uh, make a basic edit just very basic so um, let's drag in another clip this one but that's in another composition because it's always better to uh, to pre-comp that's how it's called to pre-comp your clips because you can always alter them in the composition and the composition themselves are are unaltered so it shows like a clip like a regular unaltered, unaltered clip you'll see what I mean just uh, as we can see uh, there's uh, some black um, borders so just what I said go to scale and you can go to scale with a hotkey it's S so if you push S you'll get scale 101 will remove the edges and we have two compositions with each one clip in it so that's good for now now right click click on new composition call it main comp this will be the top level composition so here you will put your final stuff in so your main comp is eventually what you will render out so um, let's see first of all if you want to arrange this a little, little bit you can create folders right click new folder uh, call this raw footage for instance put your uh, raw clips in there and make another folder for clips put your clips in there so that's pretty useful if you have a lot of stuff then you really need to do that but uh, yeah let's see this is the main composition there's still nothing here well we can put this clip and this clip in now let's see let's put this one at first all right so if you do it like this then you will have no transition just a simple cut like that so basically you didn't do anything it just puts the two clips right after each other 
if you want to create some transitions um, let's see I'll uh, show you three basic transitions that you can do they're really basic uh, not hard and very easy to do say you want to fade this clip in press T a hotkey again press T for opacity don't ask me why it's opacity for T but just uh, click on the stopwatch over here this will create a keyframe here this is the key keyframe uh, set it first at zero as you can see then it's all invisible then go a little bit further set it to 100 and it's visible again and it will interpolate in between so it will like fade in like this very nicely so um, you can do that and you can just press B and N again to create your preview range and preview it so that's how it will look pretty nice and let's see you can also create a scale transition press S for scale keyframe put it at zero go a little bit further put it at 100 and it will look like this very basic too uh, a quick tip if you want this to look smoother then add some motion blur uh, you go here this is called motion blur you can check this checkbox and you also need to check this this enables the motion blur for the whole composition so as you can see there's a motion blur if you wanted to go faster then you uh, set the keyframes closer to each other and the motion blur will also be much heavier but yeah as you can see it's way smoother I can preview this if you want looks much better um, there okay so those were two of the three basic transitions you can also do a position transition press P for position uh, keyframe this set it to uh, if you wanted to come from the right then uh, click here click uh, I mean type plus 1280 because that's the, the X value of the resolution and it will go to the right over here so that's the first keyframe go a little bit further set it to 640 again that's the center over here so you go as you can see it goes from there to there and then with motion blur it looks like that so if you preview this it will look like this too pretty basic so in fact you can just make an edit or make a random clips if you want with just these three transitions and that's just the basic stuff for now um, I'll show you how to render this out so let's say this is your montage your Gears of War 3 montage 20 and uh, you have two clips with this simple transition and you want to render this out let's do it a little bit less here so this is the preview range if you add this to the render queue uh, let's see composition add to render queue then uh, you'll see here comp name main comp just this and we'll render this preview range out so we'll go to the render queue again you have some settings over here you can make your own template if you want I have one called gear free I also have editing one on one tests I just did it now but um, let's say you want to make a new template say make the new template click on edit um, if you use an HDP VR force this to 29.97 that will be with Gears of War games also just with YouTube but um, just click OK name it whatever you want and there it is you can always choose it now and also here you can um, click on make a new template and uh, do the same thing uh, with here if you use an AGP VR you can go to format options and set the bitrate to 13.5 yeah click OK click OK again call it whatever you want and it's there too you can always use it and then click here to give your uh, your edit a name edit name and then you can uh, set the file path I'll just send it to my desktop click save and then click on render and it will render It'll take a while, depends on your computer and your your uh, your CPU and stuff. But um, this doesn't take so much time because it's just 90 frames, I guess. 
something like that. 93 or 94, I don't know. But yeah, then it's done, it creates a sound when it's done. And you can just uh, go to your desktop. Uh, what did I call it? Edit name, here it is. So, just. Yeah, this is the final result. And uh, yeah, that's basically what you have learned for now for this tutorial. That's enough for now. Uh, so, you know how to create some folders here to arrange this. You know what a composition is and what layer do, do layers do and um, just the basic views. Uh, next time I'll uh, cover some of the effects and what they do and some more hotkeys and quick tips. And yeah, so this is just the basic stuff for now and the next video will be up on Sunday and then uh, Wednesday again and Sunday and Wednesday and Sunday. And um, I think after a couple of tutorials I'll also make a contest or an exam. Uh, because you can see this as school. This is like school. There you have class, and you uh, start with simple stuff like this now, and then build it up. And every now and then you have exams. So uh, I'll ha I'll uh, make some exams, and um, the you'll just have to uh, make some edits or make an edit with the stuff that you have learned from from these uh, tutorials. And then the top three I will uh, put in my sub box. For, uh, for a month or something, or until the next exam, something like that. I don't know yet. But I also uh, created a Facebook page for this, where you can ask questions and just ask questions to each other. And just um, you can also post your edits that you have made uh, with these tutorials in there, and I'll check them out and give you some feedback too. So that was it. Hope you enjoyed, and um, see you guys Sunday. Peace.